We begin tonight with messages of a different sort. These are messages that the state of Colorado is sending to truckers, sending directly into their cabs to warn them about dangers in the high country. It is new, potentially life-saving technology. Our Mark Salinger has that. All right, he's on the brakes. And we definitely have some unique challenges for truck drivers in Colorado. From Golden to Morrison to Conifer and all those times in the high country, over and over again, we've seen how dangerous it can be for trucks to drive through Colorado. So we know that there's a challenge there with drivers that are just not familiar with our mountains. Captain John Hahn is trying to make things safer. Colorado State Patrol is the first in the nation to install virtual geofences on roads that send alerts to drivers in their cabs when they pass through them. We can select any location that we choose along our highway system uh, so that when that truck drives through that geofence, through that electronic gate, that message will pop up in front of them. Messages like slow down, shift gears, sharp curves ahead. They're using it at the Eisenhower Tunnel and so far, it's working. We've seen about a 4.3 mile per hour reduction in speed for those trucks that are going westbound that hit that geofence and get that message. Yeah, it can, it can help tremendously. Scott Mauer is a professional truck driver and owns CDL 303, the only trucking school in Colorado that has classes specializing in mountain driving. In my perspective, I think you need to up your game 25% by being in the mountains. While technology can help, training is even more important. State Patrol says 65% of all the trucks that end up in runaway truck ramps in the mountains are driven by drivers with less than five years of mountain driving experience. You have a lot on your plate uh, as far as uh, being in the mountains. We're trying to reach those drivers that, that don't get an opportunity to drive in Colorado's mountains. Now the warnings are sent automatically straight to the front seat of the truck. It really is a matter of us trying to find everything that we can do to, to try to keep people safe. The messages pop up in the electronic driver logs that all trucks have, though people have to subscribe to them. Of course, that leaves open the possibility that some small trucking companies that often cause some of those biggest crashes that we've seen don't actually sign up for those alert. So far, Kyle, they've sent out more than 16,000 alerts to drivers. Yeah, Mark, if there's one thing we've learned through your relentless reporting on these trucking company issues, it's that the companies who don't want to follow the rules are not going to follow the rules. For the trucking companies that are going to follow the rules and get these alerts, how is the state determining where the geofencing warnings are set up? Yeah, so State Patrol is using crash data that they're taking from throughout the state to try and figure out where to put those geofences up and what those messages should say. It's really pretty interesting technology. You just drive right through them and the message appears in those truck cabs. Certainly worth a try. Mark Salinger, thank you.